So when I was about 13 years old and just starting to play guitar, my dad would take us up north to a remote city called Mora, Minnesota, where he lived in a trailer house in the middle of the woods. Us three kids would hop in the back of his old Ford truck, which had one of those topper things on it, and we'd spend about an hour ride back there, bouncing back and forth, almost hitting our heads on top of the topper whenever he had a bump in the road. And uh, there were no seatbelts, of course. It was just a different time back then. His trailer house was old and musty, and it had a wood-burning stove that would heat the place, but only for so long. At night, after everybody went to bed, nobody was putting wood in it anymore. It just got really cold at around 3 in the morning in the freezing Minnesota winter. And there were only a few bedrooms there. So in order to be alone and not have to share a bed, I chose to sleep in what we called the spider room. It was a small side room that had a bunch of spiders in it, I remember. We'd have to clear them out when we first got there. And uh, the mattress was this old dusty thing, and it sat directly on the floor. There was no box spring or anything. So whenever I slept, I'd wrap myself tight in the blanket so nothing could crawl on me. But I couldn't cover up my face because I still had to breathe. So I always felt somewhat exposed. But even though this room was terrifying to me, I still got to be alone with my guitar and that's all that mattered. I brought three tab books with me, Testaments, The New Order, Metallica's Injustice For All, and Ozzy Osbourne's Tribute. And this one weekend, I decided to do nothing but learn how to play D, the classical instrumental piece written by Randy Rhodes. Not having a teacher at the time, I simply memorized the tab numbers and did my best to figure out how to finger pick for the first time using my $50 Purple Harmony guitar. I fumbled through the piece probably around 100 times before I reached any semblance of flow. By the end of that weekend though, I was able to actually get through it, not knowing which notes or chords I was even playing, not knowing how to finger pick at all and just having to make up my own style. But it ended up being a very proud moment in my life because it was so damn hard, but I never gave up. And the odd techniques that I had to develop that weekend stay with me to this day, even though I've spent years trying to change some of them. And even though that old musty trailer and my Purple Harmony guitar are long gone, I will never forget the time I spent an entire weekend in the spider room, struggling with and eventually playing 